so here the scene opens um, in the background is sort of laughable music, uh, but it just opens with a focus on the car bordered tightly by two buildings and then um, shows the reaction of the gang members as the car enters town. Uh, then calmly sort of walking into the saloon, the gang member notifies Jeff that the buyers have arrived and they're able to, with a lot of confidence and calmness, uh, get ready to go execute this deal that they've planned out. Uh, so the the scout, per se, uh, shows the antagonist uh, of what is about to happen. They come out, as the camera pans out, we're able to see the intersection um, of Jeff and his gang members with the potential buyer and his members. Uh, the interaction seems pretty forceful uh, as the gang members surround the car. Uh, Jeff throws a little insult towards the buyer's way, uh, signifying the dominance over them, that they're in their territory. Uh, as you can see, the buyer is not too happy with where he is being a wealthy man. Um, patting off the dust that was accumulated on his jacket on the way in. Uh, at this point, Jeff offers the buyer, who's uh, sort of well-dressed and everything, um, a drink, and they walk away from the camera, signifying there's some distance between now and the next point you'll see them, which is where we see Django and Carranza sneaking through the back alleys. Uh, both moving through town. So Django and Carranza are moving through the back alleys with showing shown by these panning shots and the uh, Jeff's gang and the buyer are moving through the main streets of the town, uh, all converging on the same location to watch this deal go down. Um, there, when they stop, we can see that Jeff is just making sure that the buyer has his money. Here we can see uh, Django and Carranza entering a dark building. Um, as they move upwards, the, the camera pans in, uh, with their movement, showing the tight space uh, as they move up into the attic. There we can see a trap door that kind of gives a framing of uh, the attic space. Um, from here, the camera pans back out, showing the, uh, the antagonist moving around the corner. Um, from here, Django and Carranza peek out of the, the building door. The camera angle shows their view um, and then moves back to them where you can see them conversing, getting ready for their ambush um, of the gun deal. Uh, yeah, so now as Jeff and the uh, buyer come into view for Django and Carranza, the shot pans across and zooms out to show the full sort of organized display of guns. Um, here you see Django and Carranza's reactions with tight close-ups about the interactions of these gun, this gun sale. Um, all the while Jeff is, is staying as aloof as possible, giving a lot of confident body language uh, with very little going on outside of the tight shot. Um, this is sort of Exaggerated even more when Jeff gets the money and and Django and Carranza are able to see that there's something odd about this deal. Uh, from here we can see one of Jeff's associates just making sure surveying the the area. Um, we can see that they are pretty enclosed in these buildings, which uh, could show the the difficulty of possibly escaping um, the ambush. Um, Jeff is sure to get the money. Uh, and be on his way. Here we can see that there's one last bit of conversation um, where he then calls upon his associates to follow him. This is when we can get a sense that something is about to happen as they clear the area. Um, here this is when the buyer goes to test the rifle. Um, the camera showing just the area and of where they are as well as what's going on um, as they test. As the buyer screams out saying that the guns don't work. Um, numerous men pop out of nowhere and begin ambushing the buyers. Uh, this is when we can see Django and his associate Carranza showing the overall 
or see, showing their perspective of the overall incident. Um, the camera pans out to show just the the amount of killing that has just happened. Um, Django and Carranza then leave the building where we then see the group of the gang members hooting and hollering as they get on the car and start driving around in a chaotic manner. Yeah, so during this sort of celebratory time, the camera's just following the gang members shooting guns in the air and celebrating this successful uh, successful ambush. They not only came out with the money and the guns, but they came out with the car as well. Um, Jeff stays confident and calm in the saloon while the gang members are outside, but all the while, Django and Carranza are taking advantage of this time to uh, set up an ambush and to, to sort of reach their main goal of for Django to find Jeff. So you see this random window, seemingly random window, that Django pops out from behind. He throws a rope to Carranza where they set up the, the ambush spot and then sit and wait. Um, the gang members continue celebrating and are completely unaware of anything that's just happened. And as they come around this last corner uh, and go down the alleyway where the trap is waiting, they are then uh, the ambushes, and Django and Karanz are able to take them all out quickly and easily. Django then kills the remaining uh, gang members as they fall to the ground. Uh, the original spy or scout runs back into the saloon uh, where Jeff and his associate are counting the money.